Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and today I'm going to talk about Witchboard, which I watched on Amazon Prime streaming video. The movie centralizes around three main characters. There is Jim, who is dating Julie, or possibly engaged to her, and there is also Brandon, who is Jim's former best friend. They were very close growing up, and also he's very enamored with Julie. Brandon brings a Ouija board, or Ouija, as he keeps stressing that's how it's pronounced, but I never pronounced it like that, so it just feels really weird, to a party held at Julie and Jim's house where he proceeds to contact a spirit of a 10-year-old boy named David, whom apparently he talks to a lot. Of course, Brandon uh, kind of forces Julie into being the second person summoning the spirit as they both don't smoke and did not drink any alcohol that night. Weird things start happening, of course, after they contact him with Brandon's tire exploding randomly, and then he leaves the board in the house for Julie to then solo use, which I guess is a big no-no. You're not supposed to contact spirits on your own because then they can use you as kind of a conduit to bring themselves forth into this dimension. Lots of weird things proceed to keep happening. Julie finds out that she's pregnant and is trying to deal with that as well as dealing with Jim kind of not being able to reciprocate the three words that she longs to hear, which is I love you, when she says it to him. She learns that you know, there's a lot of animosity, which she's aware of, but there's other things under the surface between Jim and Brandon that are just very complicated. I'm going to leave it off here as, I mean, there's really not that much to spoil as it's kind of a typical paranormal movie involving this board, which I don't know why they didn't call it Ouija. They called it Witch Board. That would have made the very current movie, hard to title, I suppose. So what did I like about this movie? I thought the acting was surprisingly good. I liked uh, everyone's reactions weren't, you know, the normal exaggerated 80s acting. I really, really liked Zara Beth's character, who is a medium that Brandon knows, because she's just so weird and awesome and just... Her style is great, and she jokes a lot. I really enjoyed that. I didn't think that the pacing was too bad. There are spots where I hate jump scares, but it was done in a very funny way of Jim just not really having good social prowess that you shouldn't sneak up on people. Proceeds to keep doing it to everyone. It's kind of his quirk. I thought that was funny. What did I dislike about this movie? There were things that I noticed that weren't, it, it was like small things. Julie would go to use the Ouija board and have red nails. And then she would go to use the Ouija board and have like a French manicure. And it would happen, you know, scene after scene after scene. And it just bothered me because I fixated on it. I'm sure it wouldn't bother a lot of people, but it was kind of annoying. Um, I didn't, I thought that there wasn't enough gore in it. I'm not sure what this was rated. There's, you know, implied violence. There's people thrown out of windows. In particular, one death when someone is, you know, their throat is slashed, but you don't really see it. You just see the weapon. And then you see them fly out a window and land on some weird garden ornament, which impaled them. But that was pretty much the most gore you get. Someone gets crushed by, I think, sheetrock. But again, not really gory. Dude just is powdery and bleeding from his mouth and his nose, which is realistic of being squished, but I wanted to see some more. I think I would rate this probably a 2 out of 5. It was a decent watch. I felt like it was a bit predictable, but it's one of those movies. It definitely had a very strong 80s vibe to it, which I did really, really enjoy. That's probably my favorite genre of horror. So, I mean, it is worth a watch if you're willing to commit the time and you like Tawny Katane because she does play Julie. But 
Have you guys seen this movie? Let me know your thoughts below. Have you seen the other movies that are based off of this game? Let me know. I don't think... I don't think I've seen any of them just because I don't really have a strong interest in these types of paranormal movies, really. But always open to suggestions. If you did like the video, please give me a like. If you like little cats, please give me a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. And hit the notification bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. My solo reviews, also reviews with the groom, are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators as well. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And I guess that about wraps it up. See y'all later.